Welcome to Aleph Fidel. My name is Fidel. Um, welcome to my cooking channel. This is part um, three. three. Part three of Christmas Eve making different uh, seafood dishes for tonight. So um, I'm making these all separate videos. So if there's one you don't want to watch, you don't have to. But it, We'll make seafood salad tonight, bacala salad I already made, it's over here sitting. We're gonna make clams oreganata now. And then I have grilled octopus I'll be making and fried calamari. So I'm making separate videos, but it's all part of tonight. So I'm gonna be opening up cherry stones, these here. They're not the easiest to open, but we're gonna open them, cut them, chop them, put them back in, and then what I did is I took Italian breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs. I added to it a half a cup of parsley chopped. I added a half a cup of oil that I made yesterday. I took five cloves of garlic, grated it, put it in about the, this bowl was half filled, maybe three cups of olive oil that I'm using all night on different dishes. So what I did was I scooped some of the oil with a little bit of the garlic but when you do it this way you not you don't have to worry about too much garlic that you're going to be eating raw uh let's say in the seafood salad or the bacala salad with here it's going to get cooked but i'm not using a lot but i used a half a cup of oil with some of the minced garlic um that was in there i would say maybe two cloves of garlic that's in here that i mix and you want to make it like a sand like on a beach when the water hits so by doing that, it makes it uh, a little bit, um, I guess like wet sand, right? Mm -hmm. And in there, there's uh, no salt because the breadcrumbs comes already. It's salty and the clams have salt. So I put a teaspoon of black pepper. I put a half a cup of oil, the garlic's in there. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of, a little more than a tablespoon of oregano. And then I'm gonna mix it in and you always do it with your palms like that right yeah what it brings out the oils and it's it um, because this comes on a tree the way I get it on a branch I get it, it comes in a bag and then what I do is I shake it back and forth in the bag and then I cut the bottom of the bag and I fill up uh, one of these jars the, the aroma is very strong and it's a lot better than the other uh, type that come. This comes from Sicily. You can get it in an Italian store, maybe online. It's about five bucks and you get this whole thing here. And then you, if, you, if I go like that, you can see it's coming off. But I already took the majority of it off. I just keep it because it smells nice. Okay, so once we, um, this is all mixed, you're gonna sprinkle this on the clams when they're open. You don't need a lot. I don't like to like pack it in or anything. I just sprinkle it lightly on it. Then I put them in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes and they're done. Then you eat it with a nice little fork. The, the clams all chopped up already with some little bit of the breadcrumbs on it. And these are the clams oreganata that my mom used to make uh, during the holidays. All right, I am going to be back. Welcome to Ala Fidel cooking channel. This is part four yep. of the Christmas Eve dinner that we're making all these different fishes. I'm making uh, clams oreganata now. Um, so I'm using like cherry stones. I already cut and we chopped and I we filled it with the breadcrumbs uh, that I explained what we put in there. So now what I do is if these are some, these are not easy to open, I bring them to room temperature and then I open them. Um, I, if you know how to open a clam, um, basically you want to catch right in between the lip there, the top and bottom. I bring it in, go across, split them open, right? Then what I do is I take it, I cut it in half, and I throw it in the bowl. I'll do about eight of them. And then what I do is I put them in a blender and I just hit chop button just to chop them a little. 
we don't like them too, you know, be careful. You don't want to run it. You just want to hit the button and I'll show you. And it just makes it easy, especially when you're making, I'm making 24 of them. So there's six of us. So you could be there all day just chopping clams on a cutting board. So I found a way, and we've been doing this in my family for so long that we just put it in the blender, hit the button a couple times, they're chopped. Then we put them back in the shell. This one cracked. These are really good. I mean, they're gone. They're like candy. They're gone in like two minutes. So I'm taking them, I'm putting them in the blender. And I'll put a little bit of juice so they spin easier. I take the juice from the top in case there's sand on the bottom. And that's it. The rest I throw out. And you might not, you're not gonna need all your shells either. You can see how many extra shells I have. Um, so I take it, I put the top on. I'll bring it over. I put the top on so nothing jumps out. Take a towel here. Put it on the blender. I hit the chop button. As you can see, right? Mm -hmm. I'll do it like four times. Then I take a fork and I'll check to see how small the pieces are. See? Perfect. Because when they cook, you don't want to have a big chunk of uh, clam. So what we do is uh, we take this, I'll put it in a dish. We're done with that. And then we fill up the clam shells. Like that. And then what we do is we take some breadcrumbs and we put some on the top. You can do it by hand if you want. Not a lot, barely. You just want to coat the top of it. See, like that. You don't want a lot of breadcrumbs. It's like those frozen ones that you buy that's already made. It's all breadcrumbs. You're like, where's the, where's the clam? So again, I'll show you one more. You fill the clam up, clam shell. Take a little breadcrumb, sprinkle it on top, and that's it. We're gonna be putting these in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. Again, 375 for 25 minutes. I get my oven nice and hot for about 20 minutes before. And that's it, okay. Um, so we made the clams at 400 degrees. I put them in for 25 minutes. And this is what they look like. They got a little bit of the breadcrumb on top. I'll show you what the inside looks like. You got the clam, it's all in there, chopped up small. Maybe this one here you can see a little more. But there you go. There's the clam all cut up inside. And you just take one scoop and it's basically you're done. They're so light that you can eat like 10 of them, no problem. So that's my mom's recipe, clams oregano. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your holiday. And uh, we will talk to you soon. I will um, be bringing on one more recipe, two more, and uh, that's the last part. This is part four, if I'm not mistaken, of the clams oregano. And as my mom would say, manjifidio me, manjit. Thank you for watching.